Hello everybody and welcome to my channel. I've decided to do a bonus video. I just made up out of my little head that I'm sure all the other people that are doing recaps of Married at First Sight are also doing. I don't need anybody drunk while they're listening to me. But anyway, I want to get into what I think is going to happen on decision day. So let's get right into it. Okay, so basically guys, Married at First Sight is about people, they don't know each other until they meet at the altar, they get married, and after two months, two whole months, they have to decide whether they're going to stay married or whether they're going to split. Now, I don't know how much footage I'm allowed to post before I get blocked, so I can't do too much video footage, but I will probably reserve some of the video footage for the couples. I will go over the couples, a little brief information about their histories. And then I will let you know what I think is going to happen with them. And I told you I'm not going to spend a lot of time on this, okay? And I'm really sorry if I talk fast. Slow me down on the video. I know you there's a, you have the ability to slow me down, so do so. Because Lord knows I try to slow myself down and I can never do it. The first thing we always usually start with, usually, every time they start a Married at First Sight, it's always a matchmaking episode. They show us a bunch of people who they know are not going to be on the show, which really irritates me. But I know you guys have to have filler. Okay, you have to have filler and you have to have some people who you know aren't going to be on the show to kind of fool us so that we don't know who's actually going to be on the show. But in this next clip that I'm going to post for you, I'm going to skip ahead to all that and I'm going to let you know all the couples that were chosen to get married at first sight. I'm not going in any particular order because this was an impromptu video and I ain't got time. It's the weekend and girl, I want to get in my bed. I want to watch some movies. I want to get some food. Okay. Okay. So here's one of the couples. It is Claire and Cameron. Cameron was, uh, Cameron actually holds dual citizenship and I'm not going to go in too much detail because I literally did all of the recaps for all the weddings and all of the literally literally sorry to say literally so much but all of the episodes I have done a recap it has its own playlist you might want to watch all of these episodes before we get to decision day which is going to be I think it's the 6th of March let me look at my date on my calendar yes March 6th is going to be when the decision day is gonna happen. So this is Claire and Cameron. All right, Claire and Cameron seemed like they got along. They seemed like they were attracted to each other, but you know what? Turns out they just were incompatible and this couple will not be staying married. Okay, I'm sorry, I, I didn't know, you didn't know I was gonna throw it in so early. Yeah, they're not staying married. Let's move to the next couple. All right, guys, as I said, this is in no particular order and I'm literally gonna introduce them and I'm gonna tell you if I think they're gonna stay married or if they're gonna get divorced. Becca and Austin, they were so lovey-dovey in the beginning of all of the episodes and every single episode, they were kissy, smooshy face. They were kissing each other. They were having so much affection on camera. Turn we come to find out in last week's episode that Austin was being a big, fat, fake phony. Yes, say that three times fast. He was being a big, fat, fake phony the entire time we thought Becca was begging and begging and begging for sex. Becca just wanted him to deal with her on a level where she thought that he was really trying to get with her off camera. Turns out, guys, Austin really cared so much about how he appeared online. So whenever the cameras were there, he would throw on the, I want to be affectionate. I want to learn how to be affectionate. I want to be more flirty with you. When in fact, he really did not off camera. He really didn't want no parts of Becca. And I don't think they're going to stay married. I'm really sorry because Becca's going to say she deserves more. Austin's going to say he doesn't want to change. And that's how it's going to end. Alrighty. Okay. Let's go to the next couple, shall we? Okay, guys, you please forgive me if you hear anything in my background. So the next couple is Emily and Brennan. In the beginning, on the honeymoon, they seem to have gotten along, but something that Emily did, no, I'm not blaming Emily. F that. Brennan is wayward, and he is, what is the word? A bozo. And um, for some unknown reason that he refuses to get into for a very long time, and he still never gets into it, even though he claimed the entire time that he didn't want to disrespect her and he was honoring her name and all this stuff. Um, in the end, come to find out that Brennan was just very disrespectful. He did not like her. He was not. I personally think that he just wasn't attracted to her physically. And um, it was said that he was going on double dates, but there's really no proof of that. He denied it. Uh, as you saw in the recap that I just posted, all Emily ever wanted was to be loved. This was her first real relationship and she wanted a long lasting love. And Brennan, I don't know what the hell he wanted. 
coming into this experiment because it obviously was not love. This couple will be saying divorce. I mean, Brennan literally just moved out. So, duh. By the way, Austin moved out too. I didn't mention that in, uh, when I mentioned Austin and Becca. He moved out too. So, Emily and Brennan will not be staying married. And uh, yeah, let's go on to the next couple. All right, the next couple is Lauren. Lauren. I'm sorry, Lauren. I'm really sorry. The next couple is Lauren and Orion. They didn't last very long in their marriage. In fact, they were the first couple to go ahead and end the marriage during it was it during the honeymoon or after y'all it was during the honeymoon and it was orion that didn't want the marriage anymore i can't get into everything because like i said i did the recap all the videos are on my married at first sight playlist you can go ahead and go watch them i try not to do hour-long recaps lauren made an off-color joke by accident she didn't intend on doing it and Orion stayed offended for the rest of the entire marriage. And that is literally the entire thing. They have not been living together for a very long time. At this point on the decision day, when it comes, they haven't been together for weeks. I, I presume that when a couple says that they're going to divorce, they can't fully legally divorce until after married or first sight experiment is over. So I'm assuming they're still married or whatever, but they're definitely not staying. I mean, anybody that got divorced during the honeymoon is definitely not saying yes on the wedding day. Excuse me. Ha. They're definitely not saying yes on decision day. So Lauren and Orion, bye-bye. We're never going to see you again. They kept bringing them back on the show to be in single stuff when we supposed to all be a couple. Like, please don't do that in the next season lifetime because I swear to God, if y'all do that in the next season, I will not watch you. And I don't even know if I'm going to recap this show next year because the reception I got on this show was not that great. Although... I appreciate every single view that I get on this channel. It's just that when I do reviews, I'm accustomed to just a tad more views. So if y'all like my videos, please give me a view. Give me a like. If you don't like the video, give me a dislike. Thank you very freaking much. Let's move to the next couple. They did Michael so damn dirty. Um, you guys know who Michael is? If you don't know who he is, I don't know why you're even on this video. Why do you care who's getting married and who's staying married and who ain't? Anyway, um... This is all I could find for Michael because, you know, they have the couple's faces and because, okay, I didn't even tell you nothing. Okay, I'm sorry. Um, Michael ended up not getting married. The person that they chose Michael to get married with last minute at the altar, she was like, no can do. I can't go for that. No can do. And uh, she pretty much left Michael at the altar. He was very gracious, but he has no bride and he was crying and I felt bad. Anyway, fast forward to like, I don't know, about two weeks ago in reality TV time, that is, they found him another match and let's just show who she is. So Lifetime last minute found Michael a bride. I personally don't think they match all that great. I think that Chloe is full of a lot of hot air, honestly. Now, there were many times only in like one episode, like I think it was last week's episode, that she was starting to be more real about how she really felt about Michael and the fact that she's really not attracted to him. But now, in the last recap that I literally just posted yesterday, um, she's, uh, I don't know how to say this for YouTube without getting banned or blocked. So um, she's exploring um, various meats, you know, like in the butcher shop in the butcher shop that is michael's jogging pants okay got it <laughs> anyway um they're pretty new and i don't know how they're doing this decision day when all of the other couples have been married for like two months and because chloe and michael got married last they've only been married like almost three weeks so i don't know are you guys gonna do a decision day after only three weeks i don't know how fair that is but if they do participate in the decision day i mean you got people who are literally split participating why not michael and chloe i don't think they're gonna stay together either in fact i think michael's gonna want to say yes and i think chloe is gonna say no all the other couples mutually are going to split believe me trust me trust me trust me Mark my words and come back to my mother freaking channel and put it in the comment section when y'all find out that I'm right. I mean, this is just my opinion, but I think I'm right. 
that is the end of my video put your guesses for decision day in the comment section if you like the video make sure you like it if you dislike it make sure you dislike the video really sorry it wasn't more elaborate but you know i try to keep it short and sweet on this channel it does not always work out that way and the next video that i will post and i'm i can easily tell you guys I am going to, and I don't know how long this is going to take, so I don't know when I'm going to post it, okay? I want to post it on the weekend, but I do not know when, so do not hold me to it. Because I said I was going to do the real world and all this stuff, but you know what? Real life gets in charge, and when real life takes control, there ain't much I can do. But I want to do a video clipping all of the times these people said the word like. Yeah, uh, nobody else has done it, but I want to do it. But anyway, I'm going to do it and I already have the funniest thing is I already have the thumbnail, which is crazy. But yeah, be on the lookout for that video. Obviously, it won't be too late because we're at the end of the season. So maybe I can get it done tomorrow. Maybe I can get it done Sunday. I do not know. But anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching my channel. Make sure you like, comment and subscribe. And I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Bye.